Well, it is Mother's Day week, and in the off chance you didn't give or receive your heart's desire, we do have a suggestion. Here's our Lisa Hines. For a woman, the biggest fashion accessory she can have is a purse, and finding just the right one isn't easy. I've spent months looking for the one. Now you can have a one-of-a-kind purse made just for you at Holy Cow Couture. With a snip here, a tap there, a stitch across, turn it inside out, and holy cow, it's a purse. Brittany Pillars is the owner of Holy Cow Couture and says it all began kind of by accident. I started Holy Cow Couture about seven or eight years ago, and it was basically just design inspiration. I was headed to a rodeo and took a cowhide off my floor. I cut it up and sewed it up very randomly, and I ended up going, and a lot of people stopped me and really liked the bag. So I got some orders and some friends and just kind of followed through and basically started it from there. A product that is definitely one of a kind. I personally hand select each of the materials to go for the bags. That helps me with the design process to keep all of the bags looking the same and with the same inspiration. I pick out quality cow heights. Um, I use a bunch of different distributors throughout the U.S. and handpick each individual hide. From there, I find a piece of leather, whether it's croc or embossed, hand embossed leather, to help people kind of get the design going for their custom brands or fringe or things like that. Sort of a down-home couture that makes Britney's purses so special. I wanted to have a company that people could relate to, that they could go, here's a bag that I can afford, that I'll spend a little bit more money on than I normally do. It's going to be something that's a quality product, it's going to last you for years to come, and you'll have your own personal brand or design on there. Creating a popularity that's turning Brittany's home-based business into a full-fledged startup at Meridian Technology Center's Business Incubator. Seven or eight years ago, it was just a hobby for me that made great money, but then I really took it seriously once I got married, moved from California here to Oklahoma, and Meridian Technology has basically just enveloped me and helped start the business back from the foundation so that everything is a better place so that business can become its own entity. Ron Duggins is the business development coordinator at Meridian and says Holy Cow Couture is not like other businesses housed there. A uh, business incubator, and specifically the one here at Meridian Technology Center, is a program set up to assist people in starting a new business or helping them with an existing small business. So for the companies that live in our building, they rent space from us. Most of them are new businesses, really young. Some of them have just started. And we work with them in order for them to get their business off the ground. Holy Cow Couture is kind of a different business than sometimes we see because we are in Stillwater with the university, we have some technology companies that we work with. They're a little different because they're an actual manufacturer, and they're also making uh, a, a product that we don't normally see in our incubator. And we've actually been able to help her by, first of all, providing space. So she got to move out of her house and put her production facility here. And also we've helped her on adding employees and kind of figuring out how to go from a home-based business to a really strong expanding business and they're seeing their sales increase greatly. And for Brittany, being in the incubator is good for business. Surprisingly, yes. A lot of people don't know that we're here. Our main following of people and our co customer clientele is off of social media. So for people to see us here in person, they, they're pretty surprised and excited. Uh, we do get a lot of people coming in and wanting to create something of their own and, and get to meet face to face and see the products. The social media has basically been 90% of what we do. With as much time that we have, since there are very few of us working here, and it is handmade, hands-on, 100% of the time, there isn't much time left to go out into the public. But being here in town and being in person is really able to help us get out there a little bit more. The social media aspect is something that we're able to reach a lot of people very quickly. A lot of people that want to see the photos, the images, the new products that we have up, we're able to instantly post it and it goes to all their friends. So it's kind of a spider web of people. And for anyone from a ranching background, Brittany's bags come with their own ear tag straight from the herd. It's kind of a play on what we do, uh, but I also found it a very, very unique way to label our bags. You know, it's not just another shiny 
item that people recognize by a name, our bags speak for themselves. They'll see a bright white ear tag that has a number on the front and our information on the back. And so a lot of people recognize our bags by that unique cattle ear tag that we have. Unique labels, unique bags for that unique lady. Now Brittany wants to make sure that all her leather is used, so she also makes jewelry out of the leftovers that is just as unique as her purses. Now if you'd like to see more about how small town businesses can go big time thanks to social media, we do have a story with a small town online export streaming on our website, says OKHorizon.com.